Do you want me to introduce myself? Well, well, I was about to say, okay. well, welcome, thank Lisa. You. Thank you. And thanks very much for coming and joining us in the, the Deer Pass booth. We haven't quite made a name for what this room is yet. I think it's a studio. A studio sounds more um, more professional. Yeah. Deer Pass studio. It does. So you, you are a Sealand ambassador. Yes. So what, what do you do in your role as a Sealand ambassador? How did you become a Sealand ambassador? Okay, so um, I first um, got involved with them. Um, Simon approached me. I um, was a competitor. Yeah. So I was a, comp- uh, a competitive shooter on yeah. the clay shooting side. Yeah. That's my background. So I competed for England and Great Britain uh-huh. um, for about well, more than 17 years. Wow. Um, so I did uh, World Cups, World Championships, European Championships for Great Britain, and then I did two Commonwealth Games for England. Wow. So I um, got four medals at two games, so my last games was my Delhi. Goodness. I think you are <laughs> the first medalist we yeah. ever had. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, highest, you. The highest accolade guest we've ever had on the yeah. show. Yeah, it was. Double Olympian. No, so I didn't. So I missed out on the Olympics. I missed oh, out yeah. on two Olympics okay. by two by, by a clay each time. Oh, so that no. was really yeah, heartbreaking. Yeah, completely guessing. But I did Commonwealth Games, oh, so yeah. that's kind of like the next oh, yeah, yeah. thing down. But yeah, that was um, yeah, that was really interesting. So that's amazing. Um, I came from a completely non-shooting background. Yeah. And then got into shooting as something to do on a weekend, and then it took over my life. <laughs> Um, but I, anyway, so I spent a long time competing, yeah. but I retired from competing in 2017, but I'd already started to do some coaching, yeah. and when I, so I, was, and I still do that now, so um, I still coach people um, on shooting, and, but it's been brilliant to, since I stopped competing, it was a great time to actually explore other sides of shooting, yeah. um, including non-shotgun things. Yeah. So, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, but yeah. As soon as I like, I almost stopped the competing. But Simon asked me to be a brand ambassador. Yeah. Which I was absolutely bowled over, and I already liked the products. I already had a Sealand ski vest. Yeah. Um, but then I discovered that it was actually all this range of women's clothes that actually fitted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And were actually practical. Yeah. I was about to say. I think that's what they're really good at is actually working. For the purpose they're designed yes. for, if you know what I mean. They yeah. all, I mean, and with the Harkiva stuff as well, it's all very cleverly designed. You can tell someone who knows what they're doing and who's yes. taken part in it has helped with the input of it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and it's really good because I've, yeah, I've even been asked, you know, my opinions on things. And, yeah. You know, that's been like really good. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, and I'm just, you know, every time you always get like new products coming through, it's like, what have they done now? Yeah, yeah. And you've got the ability to feed into that and give some feedback to Simon and oh, the rest of the team. And yeah, and then it's like, yeah, and you have old favourites and yeah. new favourites. So I've got favourites across, almost across both brands. Yeah. And, you know, I do have, I do dip into the Harkeel okay, yeah. side of it as yeah. well. And it's like, yeah, my husband really likes Harkeel and stuff yeah. as well. But I like it because it's not just in the shooting environment, is it? It's everything else. If you're just generally outdoors, mm. I think it's really good. Yeah. So, so you you've strayed into you've hinted there that you've strayed into the non shotgun side. So I guess rifles or air rifles or a bit of both. Rifle. Rifle. Yeah, in okay. that I've started to dip my toe into the deer stalking. Okay, mm-hmm. and is that Fantastic. why you're here today? It's partly why I'm here okay. today. Yes, it's, it's um getting more into this world mm-hmm. um, and seeing what's around. So I was very lucky in that um, very close to my home shooting ground, Nut Um On the lane, uh, just there is a gentleman who lives there called Nick Rat, mm-hmm. who's the head of education with the British Deer Society. Ah, okay, so you've landed on your feet. So I landed on my feet, it was really good. Yeah. So yeah, so <laughs> Nick took me under his wing a little bit and took me out and yes, yeah, so I went and did us, well, I'm not going to say a stalk, it's sitting in a high seat, which is mm, yeah. like a, a small garden shed, so it's yeah. a tree, one foot. Sounds like a very plush high seat, yeah. Yeah. compared to what we're used to. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I think uh, yeah, I'm almost like reluctant to do anything that's on yeah. the foot stand. No, that's not the case. Um, yeah, so I um, um, shot my cat. Oh, and I did it as a test for me to see yeah. whether I could actually do something like that. 
and it turns out yes I can and my concern was putting a shot in the right place yeah mm, yeah of course because it's the and it's the thinking about the end product as well because yeah. it's actually it's food what, what goes it's food mm. and it's very nice food and it's yeah, yeah. And so pest management as well had you eaten venison before that and so you sort of knew what the end product might be or was that a completely new process completely in terms of stalking venison everything so I did eat venison years ago yeah. and had a slightly bad experience. Yeah, which is what most people say. I think it was, you know, nice red. Stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit, a bit yeah, high. A bit high, and um, yeah, so it put me on venison for a long time. Mm-hmm. But then I did start eating a little bit. Mm, yeah. But yeah, as soon as I tried monk jack, that was just oh, Absolutely. Monk jack strip. It's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I really like that, you know, and it's that going through the whole thing, it's yeah. like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you eat what you shoot, there was a purpose yeah. for it, yeah. it's not just, this is, you know, the reiteration is it's not a recreational thing, this mm-hmm. is, um, you know, it's to, to have an end result, yeah. Mm, yeah, something on the table and that's very good, that can be, yeah. and it's so versatile, it's, yeah. I think a lot of people, if you challenge them, if you made them a, a dish, they wouldn't be able to tell the expense. Mm-hmm. No. There's definitely something to hunting and eating something that you've shot yourself and it feels so much better. Yeah. And it is so much better in, in so many ways. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, you've got to think about things like, you know, food miles, yeah. you know, and it's that care for the environment. And that's been my general thing, I yeah. think, through the whole time that I, from first getting into shooting, is that people that are in, involved in this whole community care about the environment. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's, and yeah. you know that some of the best conservationists that I know mm. are people oh, stalkers, are, and or, yeah, yeah, stalkers hunters, well, hunters yeah. shooters, people that are involved with it. Yeah, and the awareness that's there yeah. is just you know yeah. can never be no, no, yeah. So is that the bug well and truly bitten? You've got you're a, a stalker now, or is it? Well, I mean, I'm saving up my pennies yeah. to get my own rifle. That's going to take a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. Work hard for that. But what I did do is I've done my DSC one. Yeah, hey, well done. Which completely freaked me out at first. Nick suggested that I did it, mm. that I could do it. It's a lot of information to take in, isn't it? It is. It's a hell of a lot. It is. If you haven't, you know, spent years and years stalking and learning all of the yeah. seasons and the species and ballistics, and it covers a hell of a lot of, of ground. It does. And yeah, and the food hygiene, yeah. all of that. So I thought it was. I'm, I'm really glad I did it, yeah. and I, but I did have a, you know, a couple of moments of like, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do this. Yeah, yeah. But I did sort of lock myself away and I said, well, that's it, I'm going to study this. And I loved it. Yeah. And then I, but I was concerned about the practical side of the... Mm-hmm. Is in the shooting. Of course, it's in the shooting, yeah. because of having done little rifle shooting, and I had never shot pro. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? oh, of course, yeah, because you, know, you would never shoot a shotgun prone. No. Nah. And um, I, I've had a go at air rifle, but that was yeah. standing. Um, an air pistol, again, that was standing. Yeah. But yeah, I, um, so when I went out with Nick, that was when, when I was shooting, was seated. So I, but I'd never shot prone and I'd never shot kneeling. Yeah. So um, that was, I was a little bit worried about that, but. I passed it first time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and then yeah. there's always that worry as well because you know, as a shotgunner, yeah. just the triggering is very yeah. different, isn't it? So, yeah, like, yeah, well, absolutely. it's going to be one of my questions because I, I like to think I'm a, I'm a sort of fairly good rifle shot, but I have an awful shotgun shot, and I put that down to the fact that the two are quite different styles of shooting, and lots of people say you can't really transition from one to the other easily, but. As a as a medalist in shotgun shooting, would you say that's true, or is that say that's a bit of a myth, or um, you can be don't worry, you don't have to I'd say it's a bit of a combination. I'd say yeah. there is there is an element of myth to it. It mm-hmm. takes work. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Is you've got to learn a new approach to it. You've got mm-hmm. to learn that absolute stillness and the gentleness mm-hmm. yeah. that is involved mm-hmm. with. Um, Target shooting, yeah. generally. And the breathing, still, and all the breathing. Sort of things. Absolutely. Like, don't come yes. shot and shooting in the same way. Yeah, they it definitely doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, but even just the, I would say it's yes, it's down to that whole 
thing, just like complete stillness and yeah. gentleness of the movement. I, f- I find that like rifle shooting is much more it's much more of a technical approach, isn't it? You've got to you've got to line everything up. Whereas shotgun shooting, it's kind of more instinctive. Instinctive. You look, yes. you see. You don't really think about aiming, or I don't very much. So bad. Um, no, that's why you shouldn't be thinking. Yeah. Well, actually, because you need to allow your brain. I could yeah. spend a whole. We could do a whole yeah, podcast yeah. on this. <laughs> is that yeah? You need to just. It's a motor skill. Yeah. It's more of a motor Except skill. Except the body and yes. going through and all that. It's it's like you've got to think. It's more akin to playing tennis. Yeah. You know, the racket moves yeah. and you're intercepting yeah, you exactly. don't think about that you're not aiming yeah. the racket yeah, equally yeah. the shotgun you need enough shots in a uh, in a learning environment yeah. so for you actually have the data banks but in the end you're, you're doing side of the brain is that yeah, much yeah, faster yeah. than the telling side of the brain yeah, yeah. I think the telling side the teaching side of the brain the thinking side of the brain comes more into it in rifle shooting yes yeah Definitely, it's much more of a conscious yeah. thing. It's much more of a conscious process it's, it's, than this yeah, yeah, subconscious yeah. process that's involved in yeah. the shotgun. No, that's true. So we talked about rifles a little bit. Have you have you got your eyes on a particular? Is that one you're going to go and have a little play with today? When you've got your eye on something? No, something I'm very I'm very open. Like the, again, you know, this is a whole new world. It's like, yeah. but it's like almost like how much can you spend? Well, or good. what is really good, or what would be, yeah. you know, an appropriate piece of kit. Yeah. Well, you've got the perfect opportunity today to handle, you know, yes. every rifle there is under yeah. the sun. I think yeah. it's, I think it's really good. I love this. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's my first time I, to it as well. So. Yeah, and you're able to dive into every bit of it in terms of not just rifles, but the scope, binoculars, yes. moderators, yeah. everything. Oh. You've got so many different things here. I, I, yeah, I think you're having, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How long are you here for? Two days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah perfect. I've got one day. I've got one day. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm heading. Um, off to go watch some people shooting tomorrow. Oh, uh, so no. yeah, slightly different. Than that. Oh, yeah, and I'm also the team manager for England uh, uh, really? um, for one of the home internationals, so Olympic Trap, which is the discipline I shop. I heard so I always say this because whenever we do podcasts with people, we we both sort of sit there and they tell us tell us about themselves, and I'm always sort of left sat there at the end being like. We're just nothing compared to. No. I mean, you're a manager, well, Olympian, oh, sorry, not Olympian, but a medalist, manager of the um, British team, in, except English in, team, English. sorry, yeah. careful distinction. One, one of the England teams, yeah. yeah. It's a small role, yeah. but it's it's nice to be involved with it, yeah. yeah. And I do a bit of writing. So. Oh, so, my yeah. God, right. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, yeah, so I used to, so before it folded, I used to um, contribute to Clay Shooting Magazine. Yeah. Um, and now I, um, I'm currently doing a number of um, articles for Paul Magazine, mm. which is the CPSA, kind of oh, yeah. Association, yeah. Association, English Association. They're the members' magazine, so I write mm. in that as well. So I get commissioned to do things, wow. and that's I like. Amazing. I like interviewing people. Yeah. I even thought about doing a podcast, but there's so many people out there doing it. Well, we can tell you how not to do one. Yeah. Listen to our first yeah. episode, and that's a lesson. In yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there's, I think there's a lot of really interesting people with a lot of different stories across shooting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I think it's really, um, yeah. But I think it's great to sort of like spread the word, mm-hmm. um, and then, you know, there's a lot more, there's a lot more people coming into it as well mm-hmm. that are coming in not through the traditional routes, you mm-hmm. know, the family connections. Mm. Um, of shooting, there are, um, you know, as, as women, there are a lot more women that are coming into it, yeah. Yeah. and that are coming into all the, yeah, the you know, the different yeah. sides yeah. of shooting, of not just the case shooting, but the. Mm. What is that? We need, as, we need as many people in the sport as possible from as many different parts yeah. of society as, as we, we can, because we, you know. Absolutely. I, I was really excited because ladies in deer stalking are here, mm-hmm. um, and we've been trying to get them on the on the podcast. I think we're going to try yeah. and sign up to them later and get yeah. them to come and do a yeah, yeah. live interview with us. And yeah, so there's that, and then there's also Country Girls UK. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so they are very much into you know encouraging women into uh, shooting, but also you know. And into the field sports side of it as well. Yeah. The whole the whole thing. If you see the sort of things that they do as well, they do all sorts of mm. yeah. different activities. So, we'll have to go and have a chat to them. Yeah. yeah. Get along. Yeah, they've done like, well, they've done like polo days. There are there are there are other groups mm. around the country as well that are doing yeah. that and I think it's great to encourage. But I think this is general thing of like even if people don't stay involved, I think that the more that 
people that know more about shooting yes. as a whole yeah. and field sports for better. Yeah, mm. I think you're right. Yeah. I feel very guilty that you're only here for a day. We've already we've already taken up 15 minutes of your yeah. precious time. <laughs> You've got so much to see. Yeah, okay, I can't yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you need to get so much, yes. schmoozed by all the rifle and yeah. scope yeah. and moderator yes. manufacturers and yeah. everything. But I thank you very much. You're very welcome. It's lovely to talk to you. Yeah, I could, you know. Well, we'd, we'd love to have you on for a, a full sort of hour episode at some point if you're happy to, Ooh. if we haven't scared you off too much today, so no. we'll have to um, exchange yeah. details. Yeah, yes. You can also come, you know, you can come and try have a bit of the Olympic experience. Mm. If you wanted to try you, something a bit different. You might be a bit wasted on Tom and I, they were not, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm personally not. I think I'm not, not natural. No, I think I've got a hit ratio of about 10% on plays. Yeah. Whenever I go in shotgun shooting, I buy twice as many cups as I Really? Yeah. It's just like a kind of plastic mount next to I, I blame mine on my shotgun. So classic bad work and blaming his tools. I didn't think um, it fits particularly well. Yeah, too big, too heavy. I, I was the classic, I don't know, went to buy one at age 18 and they were like, this is the gun you need, you grow into it, tall bore, it'll work really well. And actually, I've tried a few friends, smaller, lighter, more compact 20 bores, and I tend to shoot better with that, I think. But you, yeah. there's, there's, yeah. there's a place for everything. Yeah. There well, is a place. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Different yeah but it's, sometimes it's just you're using different muscles, so yeah. it can get a bit tiring. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like, that's a whole other conversation oh, yeah, okay. we can go about. Yeah, for another time. I am a performer. I do think that more people should be shooting 12, 12 balls. Do you? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I think. Well, I, for the time you said that, I, I do actually have on my wish list 20 balls. Okay. It was a place for it. Yeah. Well, let's save this uh, very interesting discussion for uh, for our mm-hmm. podcast. Okay. Um, I will let you will let you get on. But yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. I, yeah. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, it's lovely. Thank you. Very Thank much. you.